Hi, my name is Steve England with File on Q, and I want to show you a, a, a demonstration of how you can use RFID tags to properly track the status of items and then the appropriate actions to be taken on those items. So in my scenario here, I've pulled up a record for this gun, and this gun is in my secure gun room. I'm going to walk in, grab the gun, and I'm going to pass through a beacon at the door there and it's going to indicate whether or not this gun is indeed has a status for destruction. And so if I was to walk through that and it was not properly uh, uh, ready for destruction, then it would give me that red indicator saying that there's a problem with the gun or the group of guns that I've grabbed. And so I would know that I cannot take the action of destruction on that particular gun. If, however, someone was to properly go in and approve the destruction of that gun, then that status would be set. And then when I tried to pass through the, the doorway there with that gun, you see it would indicate that indeed uh, this is a gun that is properly uh, uh, marked for destruction and I could go ahead with that action. So it's just one of the examples of the types of things you can do with RFID tags to not only keep track of locations of, of uh, items, but to also see that you're taking the proper action on those items so that you're not destroying things you shouldn't be destroying or moving things to certain places that you shouldn't be moving them or somebody who doesn't have authorization perhaps to move something. All of that can be done with the RFID tags in uh, working with the Evidence on Q solution.